hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to update or install a fresh copy of mac os ventura in an unsupported mac in my case i am using a macbook pro 2012 of which the highest version of mac os i can run is mac os catalina but in this case we will be upgrading to mac os ventura with everything fully functional now the first thing you would want to do is back up your data in case you are not okay with the changes then you can revert back to your old mac os version so to do that we are going to download mac os carbon copy i will leave the link to mac os carbon copy in the video description or you can just search for it on google carbon copy cloner and the first page over here now click on download now you can see carbon copy 5 and 6 so if you're coming from mac os catalina upward then you should download Carbon Copy 6. But if you're using Mac OS Mojave or High Sierra, Sierra or El Capitan, then you should go with Carbon Copy 5. So on the safe side, you should download Carbon Copy 5. But I'm just going to go with Carbon Copy 6 since I'm running Mac OS Catalina. And we have Carbon Copy Cloner downloaded. Now we can close our browser and then open our download folder so this is carbon copy in a zip file now we are going to extract this and you can see over here carbon copy cloner now let's open carbon copy cloner agree to the terms and then go with the trial okay so this is what we do first we select the source which is our current drive in my case it is thema ssd which is where i'm running mac os and then for the destination we have to connect an external drive it may be a pen drive with enough storage it may be another hard disk in my case i'm using an external drive now this is optional you could just back up the important data you need and then just continue with the installation but in this case we are cloning the entire drive in case we are not okay with mac os ventura we can head back to mac os catalina but either ways it should still work so you could choose to skip this if you don't want to back up your data and you want to install a fresh copy but i actually want to back up everything so i'm going to connect my external drive and then i'm going to click on select a destination and now i'm selecting my backup drive and you can see it is not writable now for us to be able to write into this drive we have to first format it with mac os format so let's head to disk utility and then click on our backup drive erase now select apfs click on erase and it should erase and the process is completed now you can click on done and then close this now let's select a destination on our carbon copy cloner and then select our backup drive and you can see once we click on start it should begin copying every piece of data from our main drive to our backup drive so let's click on start and then install ccc privileged helper 2 if you get this prompt confirm with your password We're just going to continue anyway. Now, this may take some time. It should take about an hour or two. It all depends on the read and write speed of your drive, but you just have to wait patiently. Now, while this is running, we have to start downloading Mac OS Ventura and then prepare the installation. So, let's head back to our browser. This time we're going to be searching for legacy patcher which we are going to use to install mac os ventura so let's search for legacy patcher now you can see a link to github down here now I'll provide this link in the video description you can just click on it and it should take you directly to the github page and we can scroll down by the right you will see the latest release click on the latest release and then scroll down and then download open core patcher gui app.zip now we can close our browser 
and then head to our download folder now this is open core patch which we just downloaded so let's extract it and here we go this is open core patch let's run it now click on open now we have to create a mac os installer so click on create mac os installer and then we're going to download mac os installer okay so you can see list of available options over here we can even click on show all options and it should show all the versions of mac os available here and you can see mac os 11 12 13 and even the latest version mac os sonoma is available here so in this case we are going with mac os version 13.5 which is a stable version of mac os ventura so let's click on mac os 13.5 and it should start downloading you can see the size is about 11.9 gig so it should take some time to download so make sure you have a stable internet connection now if you want to return back to your previous os with all of your files and your data intact then we can boot from our external drive we just cloned our disk to now we can unplug it now let's close carbon copy cloner and then wait for mac os ventura to finish downloading and finally we are done with downloading the installer now we have to create a bootable drive so click on the installer connect at least a 16 gigabyte flash drive to your computer and then right here we have to select our flash drive and then select yes to erase the flash drive and then run our installer enter your password to confirm the action and it should start writing data to the flash drive now this may take about 30 to 45 minutes you just have to wait and we are finally done after over 40 minutes now this was due to the flash drive we were using so in your case it might be faster than mine now click on yes to continue and install open core to our disk and it should build and install open core click on install to disk and then we have to select our flash drive again 15.7 gigabyte that's a flash drive and then select the efi partition which should be showing there so it should install open core to the efi partition of our flash drive so we can boot and it should take few seconds and we should be ready to start the installation of mac os ventura and we are done now click on reboot and then hold option key while you are booting your system so you should be able to select boot option now let's restart hold option key to select boot options now select efi boot so we can boot from the efi hit enter select install mac os ventura first we have to erase the disk and then install mac os so click on disk utility and then continue now select your drive in my case it is thema ssd you can see over there under internal now click on erase you can give it whatever name you want set the format to apfs and then erase complete now let's click on done close this and then head back to install mac os ventura continue click on continue again now agree to the terms and conditions and then let's select our drive and then click on continue to begin the installation now this should take about an hour or less but you just have to wait it may reboot severally while installing but you just have to wait successfully installed after about an hour 
Now let's set up, set your country or region and then continue. Accessibility, I'm just going to go with not now. I'm just going to continue without selecting any Wi-Fi network. But if you want to log in with your Apple ID, then make sure to connect to the network and then log in. But I'll skip this for now. You can set up everything else according to your own personal preference. And lastly, you can choose between dark mode or light mode. I'm just going to go with auto and it should switch by itself and then I can continue. And here we go, Ventura has been successfully installed. Now we have to run some post installation patch because if we check right now, we can see that our graphics is showing display 3 megabytes instead of our integrated GPU. So we have to apply some post patch to make everything work properly. Now download and open open core patch again and then click on post install root patch. Select start root patching. Click on yes and then enter your password to confirm. OK. Now let's reboot. So let's log in and confirm everything else is working. Alright, so let's head back to about this PC and then check. And you can see our graphics is now recognized as it should be Intel HD Graphics 4000. Everything else works from the Bluetooth to the Wi-Fi to the brightness to the keyboard light and everything else basically so we can test that out. And one last thing, we are still running our EFI from our pen drive. You should get a prompt on your screen that has detected that OpenCore is running from our USB. Now let's click on OK to install in our main hard drive. It should build and then we click on install to disk. Now in this case we are going to select our main drive up there. And then select the EFI partition of our main drive and it should install to the EFI partition of our main drive and that is all, everything should work. So basically this is how to run Ventura on unsupported Mac. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.